Hey guys, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard and I'm bringing you back more Gold Paladin support with the updates from the Miyagi Academy booster. So it's going to be my Raven-Haired Ezel standard deck. So let's get started. <clears throat> Your starter is Crimson Lion Cub Kirif because there's uh, no other starter available. Uh, so a little uh, Sagramore starter would have been cool, kind of like Beast Deity White Tiger, but uh, that's fine. We got Raven Hair Ezel, so brand new grade three uh, VR. So Raven Hair Ezel, Raven Hair Ezel's skill is when it's in your hand during the main phase. If your vanguard is incandescent lion blonde Ezel uh, and it's standing, you can uh, cannibalize one. Right. Well, I guess I also doesn't be stand. It doesn't say it has to be stood. It just says cannibalize one. Ride this card as stand. So for whatever reason your Vanguard's rested during your main phase. Um, hey, that's like for, you know, to counter uh, Zan Zanbaku. Yeah, so get over Zanbaku. Uh, other skill is when it attacks, if you have Blonde Ezel in the soul, you counter boss one, and until the end of the battle this gets 15k and an extra crit, and your opponent cannot guard with Sentinels from their hand. So it's basically Waterfall. Uh, that's pretty cool. So, yeah. Anyways, on to the next card. Next, of course, is our four copies of Incandescent Lion Blonde Ezel. So you want to run the four in standard just because, you know, you want to get it in the soul for the Raven Hair Ezel. Uh, uh, Blonde Ezel's skill is if you have Bowmans and Gareth on the Van Rear, you Soul Blast Cure from the soul, and then you, uh, to appear right from your hand. If your opponent's vanguard is grade 2 or less, this gets drive minus 1. And its other skill is when it attacks, uh, you can call a card from your hand to rear if this is on vanguard circle. So you have ways to superior right into this where your opponent's at grade 1 or 2. And then you can, uh, you know, call ride Raven Harazel the same turn with its skill. So you can basically ride twice and you get Excel markers twice, blah, blah, blah. You know, you kind of work from there. Lastly, for our grade threes, we're running two copies of Battlefield Storm Sagramore. So I like Sagramore a lot. And I think, um, given if I could uh, tone down some grade twos, maybe tone Sagramore back up. He's really good. His skill is when it's placed from hand, you Soul Blast one, draw a card, and you call a card from hand to rear. So it extends your battles, uh, extends your number of attacks. That's what I mean. Uh, you know, it's still good when you write it, uh, gives you the gifts, and overall it's just a really good multi-attacker when you're constantly calling stuff during your battle phase, and I really like the card. So running two for now, just for consistency, uh, we'll play around with it, maybe up it to three. I've seen some lists in Japan that run four, and they run like ten grade, they run like ten grade twos and like eleven grade ones, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and for those grade threes, of course, we got our fancy gift markers or blonde ezel ones. Uh, don't have any raven ones. I just like the blonde ezel ones more. It's just personal preference. So got the blondie boys. On to our grade twos. We are running four copies of Flame Wind Lion Wonder Ezel. So Wonder Ezel's skill. Sorry, but the camera there a little bit. Wonder Ezel's skill is you retire uh, Hoel, Crimson Lion Beast Hoel from your rearguard circle. If this is on your vanguard circle, Soul Blast 1 and retire Hoel from your rear. Search your deck for Blonde Ezel and write it as stand, and it gets drive minus 1. So regardless of your opponent's grade, it gets drive minus 1, but you get to disappear right from deck, which is really cool because that helps you thin out the deck for triggers, and if you don't have those on your hand, you can do it that way. So now you got, we got more ways to peer right Ezel, which is nice. Its other skill, which is also really good, is when it's placed on the rear guard circle, um, you can call a card from your hand to rear. So that's it's just really simple. So then you can use that to proc off Dindrain, Gareth, uh, Bow Mains for 3k. You can use that for extending multi attack. So if you use, um, I, remember, I don't know, if you, oh, oh if you use Hoel during the battle phase and you call out uh, Wonder Ezel and you call, use Wonder Ezel to call something else out. So you get more attacks and more field. So the second skill is really good as well. 
So definitely want to be running for that. Nextly, for our grade twos, we are running Knight of Superior Skills Bowman's. So Bowman's skill is Banner Rear when it's placed. You discard a card from your hand, you search your deck for Gareth, you call it to rear. Super awesome and simple. We basically deck thin you out one a card, and that's a specific target for Ezel's skill. And uh, the other skill of Bowman's is when you call it to rear, uh, if it's called by a card effect, uh, it gets 3k. So it can be a 12k attacker. Uh, 22 on Excel Circle. Uh, help, so helping you with the superior ride and uh, still helps you fill up your board. So a really good card. I still want to run it at 4. And lastly, for our grade 2s, I am running the 3 copies of Vivian just because I like Vivian's skill a lot. The other uh, grade 2 that people are running, is I'm, its name is not off the top of my head, but it's the grade 2. It's same, similar to Vivian, but you discard a card from your hand instead for the cost. Uh, and you, it's the same effect, but you don't get the power. So Vivian's skill is Vanner Rear when it's placed. You have to counterblast and soul blast. Then you look at the top three, call, call one from among them. The rest go to the bottom of your deck, and Vivian gets 3k. The reason I like Vivian is because she gets power, and uh, um, the cost doesn't cost you hand, which is still it's still kind of iffy about. I'm iffy about how I feel about hand cost uh, effects, um, especially because we already have Bowman's, which already makes you neg cards for its effect. So the issue with Vivian, of course, is that it costs a counterblast. So your opponent can deny you counterblast, so you can't use it for Ravenhaired Ezel's skill. And Ravenhaired Ezel is basically your win condition for the deck, anyways. So there is a little bit of conflict. But um, I still feel like it's okay, especially because I'm only running at three. It's a good backup right target, um, but I can still play test with this deck a little bit. If I do decide the other to run the other grade two, just for counterblast issues, I might. But for right now, I'm running Vivian, and I do like the card. So that's it for grade twos. I'm going to go on to grade ones. So I'm going to start off real quick, uh, revisit Gareth. So Gareth's effect is when it's placed by a card ability, counterblast one, you give this 10k. So you can call it out with Bowman's, and then you can use this effect to give itself 10k. Uh, you can call it out with other effects, like with um, Wonder Ezel. So, uh, and because it gets a 10k when it, um, you know, when it's placed by the effect, I like to. One thing you can do is you can put it behind your Raven Hair Ezel, and then that way uh, the column, which plus the 15, so it's 20. Um, 27 plus 8, 35, plus the 10k, 45. So you have a 45k column uh, with these two put together. So you got a 45k Vanguard that your opponent can't use Sentinels for, so that could help you finish the game. Um, and then it's also just a really good beat stick for that extra 10k. So I still like it, and it's your call target for Bone Mains, and it helps you use Blondezel's Superior Ride. Still a good card. Uh, new card for Grade 1s. So we got rid of Haugen, and we're running Hoel. I really like Hoel's skill a lot. So Hoel's skill is at the end of the battle that it boosted. If you have a Vanguard of Ezel, you kind of lost one, put this into the soul, draw, and then call a card from your hand to rearguard circle. So it helps you, it's kind of like Mock Slash Dragon in a way, but you can only use it once versus uh, if you keep Mock, Mock Slash on the board, you can use it continuously. So you also have to have an Ezel Vanguard, so it sucks if you ride Sagramore. Um, and you can do it, you do it during the battle phase, so after it boosts, you just pick draw, and you pick something in your hand, you call it to rear. So, really, really, really good card. It does cost a counterblast, so this deck does have a counterblast is issue, obviously. Um, so, again, that's why the Vivians are kind of wonky, but this card for sure is really, really good. And you definitely want to be running it at four. And it helps you pay your cost for Wonder Ezel's Superior Ride skill, if you're going to use it. And lastly, four copies of Listener of Truth, Dindrain. All four are congratulations, hot stamp. Thank you, Atlas. And uh, it's basically your counter charge engine. So Dindrain skill, when it's placed, you soul blast one. You pick one of two abilities. You either draw a card or you counter charge and get 3k. You only get the 3k if you counter charge. Um, you're basically going to be using it mostly for the counter charge just because the deck uh, counter blasts a lot. Um, the draw does help if you just don't have anything face up. Uh, soul, I don't think there's too much of a soul problem with this deck just because you have Howell, which moves to soul now. The deck did have a soul issue before. So, and, you know, you if you don't, you know, if 
you don't like use up all your sagamores too quick or you know use up all the superior ride skills really fast you should be fine um, and since you're running of course the 4 ol having soul should be good but for sure you should be running for dindrain in this deck you will need the counter charge all right so that was it for the non-triggers so here we're going to the trigger units um, I'm keeping my trigger lineup super basic, so we're just doing the four Halo Shield Mark, your Sentinel PG draw trigger. Uh, you do need to see draw triggers, and it is a Sentinel it's standard, so you want to be able to block attacks. And then uh, we're finally going to be able to run crits, so we are running four Flame of Victory and four Shanak. So uh, before I was a very uh, avid like person about running fronts in your gold paladin deck just because there was no aggro-ness to them in my personal opinion before uh, the fronts were a lot more important uh, but I feel like the crits it's just really easy to steal games you know you just ride into raven haired ezel use his crit effect drive check a crit and then you can probably win with that so it helps you steal games win games faster uh, the crits are also important because um, if you don't decide to attack with Raven first, and you want to save it, if you're going to like attack a rear guard that has intercepts, so your opponent can't intercept, uh, the fronts will lose less value if you start using your rear guards to attack first. So uh, one reason to run crits. Uh, the deck still runs fine if you want to run fronts. It's got the same amount of aggressiveness. Um, so this is just personal preference. I'm just going to be being super crit aggro with this deck. And lastly, four heals, because I don't want to die. Um, of course, you know, heals in this deck are just kind of funny because, you know, you're being so aggressive, you can, like, tone down the two heals, and you can, like, make your deck, like, six uh, six fronts and, like, four... Uh, or six fronts and, like, six crits or something, you know? Like, or add in more draw triggers, you know, if you want to... Uh, I know a lot of Ezreal decks, they're doing six... Uh, six draw six crit so maybe you can do eight crit six draw two heal but you know it's really up to you so the four heals are there for the shield and because you don't want to die because healing is nice okay so that was it for the main deck the obvious things that i want to point out about is like you're going to be using raven hair Dezel skill basically almost every turn so you want to be conscious about how you're getting your counter blasts or how you're using your counter blasts and how you're getting back your counter blast with your counter charge engine which is dindrain and then you also want to be conscious about like um having the soul for dindrain so that's where hoa comes in and then that's pretty much it and then you also have um access of deck thinning which is your vivians and your bowmans um and you know you just kind of basically the goal is to superior ride first and kind of take advantage of your opponent whether at grade one or two with the vanguard with two excel markers and you know don't drive right away so that's what's also really cool about doing raven has skill obviously is when you ride it from the skill you get back the twin drive um that you would have lost if you used wonder Ezel, <clears throat> or maybe blonde Ezel's own skill if your opponent was agreed to or less that's it for the deck profile and if you guys have any comments questions concerns you guys can share your your deck build ideas. I know there's a lot of different ones that I've been trying out. This is the most basic one I could have thought up of, and I hope you guys liked it. I'm Richard, and I'll see you all next time.